Hey YouTube, this is me, Simple Kishana, coming at y'all with yet another video. And of course, as you can see in the title right above there, this is about what I personally, Simply Kishana, eat on my diet program. Not diet program, y'all. Let me change it. My weight loss journey. Okay. So, when I first started dieting or whatever, I was always the type of dieter to look for like, um... You know, what I can do, like like a quick fix, basically, I'm not even lying. A diet that I can do that cuts out carbs, it cuts out sugars, it cuts out fats, or, you know, cuts out one whole food group, because, you know, it sounds good and fancy and stuff. What I found out is that for me, no matter how simple and unfancy it, it sounds, what works is simply diet and exercise, y'all. Simple. The bad diets, let me tell you how they work. Um, they're good to jump start a diet, okay? I, when I say jump start or you know or say you reach a, a plateau when you reach a plateau I recommend doing a fat diet because you reach a plateau you reach a plateau you do a fat diet and then you keep eating um, not exactly the way you were eating before but build your way back up to there and then you know the way will slowly gradually go off from there and then you'll be out of that, close, that plateau stage or whatever but just doing like an Atkins or a six week body makeover um, I personally probably wouldn't recommend not for long term, you know. Anywho, okay. So let's start with um, breakfast. What do I eat for breakfast? The days that I do get breakfast in, and I know it's bad because you should get breakfast in every single day. If you can, like if you can wake up in the morning, you don't have nowhere to go, school, work, or anything, and between the hours of 6 and 11, you're doing absolutely nothing, get up and cook yourself some breakfast, okay? It ain't going to take you that long. Cook some breakfast, like really. It's not, it's not, you know, that big of a deal. Make breakfast. But... What I eat for breakfast is basically, sometimes I'll have oatmeal, and not instant oatmeal, but I'll have real oatmeal that you can make yourself, and I'll have that, and I'll have um, a couple of Splendid Packs in it, and some frozen fruit with my doll. Maybe um, I have mixed berries, or I have strawberries with mangoes and stuff, or sometimes I'll do just maple with little, with little maple and brown sugar in it. Um, which is pretty good and pretty fulfilling. Or also, you can use if you like a um, more of a sweeter type flavor. Let me say my favorite oatmeal I used to make in the summer. I would use um, eat oatmeal with the strawberry preserve, reduce reduce um, sugar and fat, and with um, the frozen strawberries. It'd be so good, y'all. Really, really warm calories and get you full until you know, like lunch. You're like you eat less at lunch because you're not even like, hungry or whatever. Um. I eat that. Sometimes I eat special K cereal. I like all flavors. If you ask me, special K is just too yummy. Period. I like the original. I like the strawberries. I like the French vanilla almond. I like the chocolate kind. Um, I like the kind of the fruity yogurt. I love it. Yogurt. Now that I'm on that topic, yogurt is something else I have. Sometimes I have yogurt and a piece of fruit. Of so, of course, I have either Yoplait or Chobani Greek yogurt, which is also very good and fulfilling. Um. Sometimes I may have an English muffin. English muffins are good and they actually have the fat, have the calories of bagels. So definitely invest in English muffins. They're pretty damn good. Um, what else? Oh, I've also had um recently a Jimmy Bean turkey sandwich with the egg white and the cheese on an English muffin. It's pretty good. It's about 260 some calories, low on sodium and sugars and all the other bad stuff. I have that. Um, grapefruit, black coffee, good to go. That's pretty much what I'll eat. Or maybe um, if it's a weekend and I have time, of course, I'll make like a protein smoothie for breakfast. Going into the next meal, lunch. Okay, so for lunch, I'll probably usually end up having whatever I had for dinner the night before. Um, but since y'all really don't know what I have for dinner the night before, unless I tell you, let me tell y'all. Um, sometimes I'll have chicken chicken and rice or I'll have a pork chop and rice or like a fish and potato um, sometimes I have salad um, I have sandwiches on like not regular bread but the sandwich thins um, the sandwich thins if y'all don't figure out who they made by but sandwich thins they're basically like really really thin pieces of bread like to eat a whole sandwich thin is 70 calories for the whole thing like to make a sandwich and I have like turkey and ham on there and um, like a half slice of cheese and mustard um, I'll have fruit I'll have sugar-free applesauce 
sometimes jello yogurt again um that's pretty much it i don't really have i don't really try to do too much or if i'm at home on the weekend i'll have a turkey burger and maybe a couple of um fries not too many baked of course if you can i suggest making a sweet potato fry it's even better for you it tastes really really good and it's better you know to eat period for dinner i'll have pork chop chicken tuna fish um, steak with potato usually a large salad i use regular ranch dressing and what I do to the ranch dressing is I put some little water in it. See, this is a trick restaurants use to stretch the ranch dressing out. I put the water in it. So it looks like with the, I'm getting more, but it's really less, but it has water in it. So, you know, it doesn't take down calories. I mean, it takes down calories because it looks like you're getting more. And your goal is to basically what? Cover all of your lettuce and all your things in your salad. So when you just see that, you're good to go. And you're not putting on like extra, extra ranch. I personally use regular ranch because fat-free ranch and light ranch, I really, really don't like the taste of. If you like the taste of that, I say use it. Use the um, light or fat-free ranch because it's even better for you in the long run. Um, for snacks, I'll have granola bars, rice cakes, yogurts, jellos, fat-free pudding, um, sherbet, which is really, really good. Um, a good substitute for ice cream, sherbet, and all types of different flavors. Um, the Weight Watchers treats. Oh, there's something else for lunch, now that I'm thinking about it. You have a Weight Watchers meal or a Lean Cuisine. They're really, really good. The Chicken Alfredo. I like the Chicken Alfredo. I like the Chicken Palm. Um, I like the Salisbury, I like the pizza, all the lean cuisine, or um, it's another one they make, I think Michelini's makes a lean gourmet meal now, and they're like for about $1.50, so just grab a bunch of those and you gotta work, go to school like me, and that's what you eat for lunch, and pair it with a salad or a piece of fruit and you're good to go, really. Um, water, everybody knows I drink water all freaking day this has to not be you know a drink that you drink as an option it has to be basically your only option pretty much um have yourself suck some crystal light packets in there don't do it all crystal light um at first i did a lot of i did a lot of it as crystal light now i'm here i'll do maybe crystal light once or twice a week and I usually, if you've ever seen my videos before, I usually doing the one liter bottles, but today I have the 16 ounces. You should drink about, take your weight and put it in half. And that's how the many ounces of water you should drink. So I should drink about over 100 ounces of water. So these, I be drinking these all day. I usually, pro I'll probably just, before to get my 100 ounces in, I'll just go fill up a pot bottle or something and drink it twice real quick. You know, once you do the stuff like that, it really becomes easy. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else that I eat throughout the day. Oh, I, I'll eat noodles sometimes. Noodles are okay. They're really, despite despite what you might think, noodles are really, really okay to eat for like a lunch. And it fills you pretty, pretty good. Um, I eat whole wheat pasta, um, sugar-free spaghetti sauce. I eat ground turkey. That's something else I've got. Ground turkey. Anything that you can put beef in, try to substitute with ground turkey. It's way better for you. Way healthier. Um, grilled vegetables, of course. All types of vegetables, all types of fruits. I'll eat and I'll try. That's pretty much it, y'all. What I pretty much eat. I hope I help some people out who may not have, you know, they may not know that, you know, all the things I listed were necessarily good for them or whatever. Sorry, y'all fixing my hair, which, as I said in the last video, is really getting on my nerves. I'm about to throw it in the ponytail, like for real. Um, but yeah, I hope I help someone out with that. Next, I'm coming to y'all with the videos that I do and what I do just for exercise regimen. And that's it, y'all. Bye.